Alright. You still with me, Joe? Ten four. Okay, into Mount Moon we go. Into the dark abyss. Yes, um, word of warning. As everyone knows who's played the games, grotesque number of Zubat in here. It's been a grotesque number even up into the fifth generation. Mercifully, they're weak and easy to kill. However, <laughs> they're like parasites. Oh, that's funny. Assuming this doesn't crit, the Zubat will be in prime HP position for Pokeball capture. I has the Pokeballs! Balls, 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 balls. That takes care of that. I was about to say, Andrew Ryan would not appreciate the parasite. That takes care of one of the Pokemon you can get in this area. Ooh, what did I get? I sold off TM34 because, I mean, who uses Bide? Water Gun! I That's getting anyone... sold. That is so getting sold, it's not even funny. I don't think anyone can learn that yet. Yeah, and the water type I'm getting learns it on its own. I won't reveal who it is, because everyone should probably know what it is. Yes, because this is red from Gen 2. <laughs> also, the reason why I mention Andrew Ryan is because of that game, Bioshock Infinite. It looks like a great game. You should grab it later. Yeah, I'm thinking about having a look at Bioshock Infinite. But for now, let's stick with this classic game. Yes. This is a classic. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? I'm just a ten-year-old oh. kid! What are you looking at me for? I was about to say, oh, and he's a bug catcher. Like, he's any more suspicious. With a level 11, we... You know... These morons know Beedrill is infinitely more dangerous than Weedle. And yet they don't have any. I mean, like, in Gen 2, Scyther aside, Beedrill's like the only semi-imposing bug type in the game. Pinsir's a tough cookie, but his moveset sucks. Not unless you... Move Tutor it or something. And Move Tutor's in, uh, Gen 2, dude, so... I know, I was just referring to. Also, because I missed the opportunity... No, not the Beedrills! Nidoran female coming out. Again, another hardening Pokemon. Scratch! No, I gotta fix my shell! Oh, great. This is gonna be another war of attrition. I'm better served saving Scratch's power points for foes that actually take damage. Well, at least they can't recover health like Zubat. True. And some people, I mean, might be wondering what the heck is up with the percentage up on the Visual Boy Advance. That's your frame rate. If it's not at 100%, close some programs or get some more RAM. I was wondering why Team Fortress 2 was hanging once in a while. Uh, Actually, I mean, there's a saying in the uh, computer in the computer programming uh, circles: you can never have too much RAM. They're not joking. You can Actually, never have too much RAM. I actually agree, and the reason why I was talking about Team Fortress 2 was because it was literally hanging last I played it. Ooh, double kick. Now I... Nidoran female is useful! Wait, not literally, hang. Yes, there are rocket members in the, t in the tunnel. Page. 
nor as useful as a rocket launcher. Rocket launcher! Beware, Zubat is a bloodsucker. Vampire! So, Zubat is a lawyer? I thought it was a vampire, and I mean the better cup. Dude, Not the lawyer! <laughs> Waiting for your friends to find you here? Well, something worse found you here. On the plus side, though, at least it's not missing, no. <laughs> yeah, Clefairy! Clefairy is the rare creature you can find here. You should catch one and name it Yonai. <sighs> Wake up! I should wake it up. What? <laughs> Clearly, Pokemon doesn't follow that much logic. If it doesn't wake up the next turn, I'm just gonna start using save states. Wakey, wakey! Eggs and bakey! Okay. Moving on! Yeah, he's pretty much useless now. I hope Pikachu doesn't. That's another thing they haven't implemented in recent generations. Why is it that it was only selective in this generation? Not sure. And jeez, this thing's got some hefty defense. Ah! Now Pikachu's gonna be falling asleep on your shoulder. This is why everyone hates Clefairy and what the hell? And Jigglypuff. At least they don't carry markers and draw on your face when you fall asleep. That was back when the anime was good. Okay. Ah! F you! Curses! Foiled again! This again. Uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I should have said it like Mike from Civil Protection. Oh, not this again! Shinema needs to get its act together and put more Ross Scott stuff back on. There you go, die like a good little vermin. At least it's not a zombie. Yes, you did. Now give me your money. But uh, you should check Pikachu and make sure it's not asleep. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go back outside to the Pokemon Center. It's sleepwalking. After I beat the piss out of this bat. How bad he? Oh crap, I forgot Bug Beats Poison! Wait, Bug Beats Poison? Yeah! I forgot about that as well. That never made sense to me. How do bugs beat poison when technically poison should beat bugs?
You know, I'm glad that in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they brought back the Pokemon Walks Behind You mechanic like in Yellow. Yeah, and you can have freaking Arceus walking behind you. <laughs> I like to walk with an Absol behind me. That's actually my favorite Pokemon. It reminds me of my dog. I will be honest, I'm tempted to run away from most of these fights. That's what I do, because it's not worth losing HP over in this generation. Especially since, well, you're above the levels it has. And Nidoran gets double kick. Now kicking awesome. Okay, I gotta stop using puns and bad jokes like that. music for whenever this level goes on just makes it feel like a mystery. Oh, hi there, Rocket. Can you see me? Now you can. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters! Very forthcoming see? with information, aren't you? Oh, and he has a whip! Oh, a sand shrew, huh? I got a surprise for you. I got one thing for them. If they're actually gangsters, they're no, no match against someone like Al Capone. Oh, great. Here we go. Sand attack BS. There we go. I'm done. Oh, -ho, level 12. Ratata. 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 It's a rat attack, rat data, rat attack, rat data, rat data, rat attack, yeah! I was gonna start clapping along like this was a song. Shit, I just rock. I mean, crap, I just run. It Part happens, my... I'll let it go. Pardon my language, people. Yes, I'm the family friendly channel. Minimal swearing, although. How family friendly is anyone's guess, depending on how quickly they catch on to the adult bonus puns. I think Toa, in a future segment, wants to do that. Oh, doesn't he? <laughs> ah, let him have his fun. Okay, what was I gonna do? Oh yes, I was going to fry you to a crisp! Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a spark or a lightning bolt. It'll still hurt either way. Well, hey, that was a Freeman's line. Freeman's mind line. No, not happening. Just switch it out. That always works. Or does it work in Gen 1? Huh? The switching it out for... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it does. Confusion isn't a, a full status effect. It goes away. Your associates... Your associates... Your associates are a bunch of criminals. Don't talk to them like... Don't talk about them like they're legit. Kinda needed it. I think there's an item in this area. Yes, right here. HP up. And, as a matter of course, any of those I get, I give to Pikachu. Paras! That's actually pretty rare once in a while in Mount Moon. Yeah, he is. I want him. Oh, wow. I forgot. Grass resists uh, electric. Wait, it's grass type? I thought it was like... It's poison. grass bug. Grass oh. bug. Don't use Mankey. If you're one to actually wake it... We can uh, use something like Nidoran. Yes. Oh, that I would have been angry about. Well, at least you're not using Pidgey on it. 
Then you would kill it. Well, Pidgey doesn't... Oh. Farfanugan. It wants to play! How cute. By my reckoning. Alright, B button, B button, B button. The B button. button trick doesn't work. Okay, this time around I'm going to use save states. Why did as you mentioned, money is scarce in this game. Money is scarce in right now as well. Well, it's not. Uh, <laughs> Don't get me started, buddy. Don't get me started. <laughs> I won't, I won't. I'm just saying, I'm a poor college student as well. <sighs> Geo, dude. <laughs> I will admit, though, I don't believe in pressing a bu certain button combination or something will cause you to catch the ball. I mean, Pokemon easier. Alright, is this gonna be a kill? Yeah. I'll catch a Geo, dude, at some point. Geodude! Okay, you are so not worth my time, it's not even funny. They always have to include a level where there's an infinite amount of zoo bats. Oops! <laughs> It'll carry it away with the speed button. Almost let Pikachu do its dance. Back into the trenches. Back to the front. Ah, an opportunity. Huh. Well, here's to hoping double kick isn't going to be an instant kill. It's a normal type move towards rock and ground type, so it shouldn't. Oh yeah, that ought to be good. Wait, double kick is a normal type, right? No, it's fighting type, dude. Ah, I'm such an idiot. Well, actually, I'm not completely an idiot. There we go. Of course, I'm gonna have to catch a golem because I can't trade. I understand that they want people to connect games together, but you gotta have some sort of clause, like if you live out in the middle Honestly of- Honestly speaking, to me, logically, the third version in a generation should be that game where you can get everything. Yeah. Super nerd! Oh, not as boy, nerdy as- Not as nerdy as some of us, or the people that I know at Texas A&M. <laughs> Not Pidgey. Definitely not Pidgey. I forget if water resists electric. I guess we'll find out. Wait, or what? If electric resists water. No, it doesn't. I was going to say, this is breaking physics right here. Now, in Gen 2, you don't want to use normal-type moves on Magnemite, because they become dual-type steel. However, the extra defense this grants them is comes at a horrible curse. Their existing weakness to ground-type becomes doubled. We've got Magnemites of steel. If only that game was better. Voltorb. The Pokemon that I always mistook for items. Yes, that's kind of their shtick. And Electrodes actually, um... 
Oh, in, I gen, know. in Gen 1 and Gen 2, Electrode, the evolution of Voltorb, is the fastest Pokemon in the game. I always, in Gold and Silver and Crystal, I always, when I was disabling the generators at Lake of Rage, I would always go ahead and capture an electrode that they were using to power the generators because, well, well, it's the only opportunity you can get put for now to catch it. Yes, and you have to be now. Funnily enough, Voltorb does not learn any electric attacks on its own, but it learns both of the um, Kamikaze attacks: self-destruct and explosion. Both of which are basically a giant middle finger guaranteed to ruin your day. I might as well shout Banzai while it's doing that. Although that's... And the only reason I'm able to go first is because of quick attack here. Watch this, see? Mm -hmm. and... Fastest mod in the game. I never understood why they made Voltorb and Electrode electric types when they don't have any electric moves at the moment. Mm. Yeah, you might want to find stronger Pokemon, buddy boy. Pidgey hasn't leveled up yet, so he kind of needs some juice. You need a medic. Medic! Oh yay! That potion didn't get used. That potion never happened. <laughs> the potion's a lie. Ooh, red rare candy. Tempting. Now save it. There's a trainer right here. Hi. There's an item up there as well. Yes, I'm gonna go get in it. Oh, for the love of Christmas. <laughs> Excuse me while I laugh like a super villain. <laughs> oh yeah, you're not gonna win. Look at the tick damage. It's tick damage. It's a, it's insignificant. It's unacceptable. Metapods. Walking phallic jokes waiting to happen. Didn't Zero start that? Well, because they are. They're basically a penis joke waiting to happen. I mean, look at that thing! It even looks like it has a face! Okay, death crit. Good. Ended that put that thing out of my misery. Dead. I always remembered when Misty was just creeped out by that thing. Misty hates bug types in general. I think she got used to May's Butterfree, though, when she used well, it. Butterfree is a pretty thing. She doesn't like nasty, ugly, bug-looking things. Yes, you did. We all lose something, kid. Yeah, uh, Gold Bat is not very useful in Gen 1. When it gets what? its third evolution, Crobat, in Gen 2, it becomes very useful. Because it gains, uh, in Gen 2, the entire family line gains some moves, and Crobat can fly. I was about to ask, where did you get Goldbat out of all this? Because you mentioned Zubat, and how they're useful if you can catch one. Oh. I could fight you, I don't feel like it though, goodbye. Already got one. You, I will fight because you are easy to kill.
You're too slow! And that's all she wrote. Rock types are slower than molasses in January. It gets worse, though, once you get steel types. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to preempt this fight and get a potion. There we go. Hello, miss. Yeah, it is big! I can think of a lot bigger things, though. Oh dear. Oddish. Oh, poison. I no, didn't. wait. Poison type works on that. Uh, no, no. I. Oddish and Gloom and Vile Plume are all grass poison. No! Oh! Then you may want to use Pidgey. Yeah, I got no choice. The really annoying thing, though, is that Oddish has poison powder and unparalyzed powder. Fortunately, its signature move, Absorb, is not effective, effective. against flying types. Yeah. Yeah, keep slogging away like that. It's gonna work. Yes. I was hoping that would have been a crit. Could use a crit rocket here. There you go! There's the death crit! Uh... Why does that Pokemon have a tower devoted to it? I don't understand. That's my question, too. What the hell? I'm surprised that Pokemon like Absol don't have a tower devoted to it. Yes, growth. Raises the special stat. Yeah, like, special is gonna be pretty useful right here. Fortunately, Bellsprout is made out of tissue paper. And bailing wire. You lost it? What? Your V card? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, that's a Carisu. <laughs> Let's not go there, buddy. <laughs> that's a can of worms that does not need to be opened! Indeed! Is it yep. stuck on? Oh. No, I was distracted. I was checking the map. That reminds me that I need to switch out that. Do -do -do -do. Everyone is leveling nicely. I am content. Oh, hi there. Oh, that rock looks conspicuous, don't it? I always liked how obvious some of these things were. Then again, they still do it in the games today. Mm -hmm. Zubat! Double kick is double ineffective due to the fact that both poison and flying resist fighting. Oh, for the love of Christmas. I would have suggested Pikachu, but yeah, I need some help. You need a super. Leech Life is a bug type move. Remember, Pidgey's a bird. Flying resists bug. Right. Oh, 69 points. Okay, who do I want to bring out for this? Uh, 
Let's see if I can't just smash through it. Let's see if we can skin it and show it to, sh to other Team Rocket members. Okay, that's a decent... That's a respectable amount of damage. Oh, and a flinch, too. Very good. Wait, there was flinching this early? I never had that happen to Yeah, me. um, there's flinching on headbutt and bite. That explains why I never saw flinching until about gold. I didn't even I didn't even recall Loki being able to cause a flinch. And that's all she wrote. Notice how Ekans' name is Snake backwards. Yes, it's Evolution Arbok is Cobra backwards. I hate snakes. Like Indiana Jones. I study history, but I hate yeah, snakes. Yeah, this conspicuous little rock here, if you had the item finder, it would ping. If you had it in fire red and leaf green, it would point arrows at it. That's TM1. Yeah, that's Mega Punch in this gen. Now, Adam gave Mega Punch to Pikachu. I'm not quite sure I want to do that myself, though. I would have said do it for that because, well, it would help you against rock types, but you have Surf, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi. You surprised me. Yeah, I did come to explore. It's my job as well. Kids these days always want to explore something. Oh, this ought to be good. Ah... Here's my ret here's my answer to the, your quick attack. I'll see your quick attack and raise you a double kick. I see your tackle when I raise you a scratch. I raise you a death crit. Well, I said a death crit in there, but no. Yeah, she's gonna have to come out. So we'll send in the person with the other kicking move. <laughs> Death crit! It's trying... <laughs> I was trying to do the Mortal Kombat sound where the guy who did the kicking move. That's Johnny Cage, I think. The parasite will be punished. Don't take that the wrong way. Uh. Oh, fucker. Okay. Oh, we're over 30 minutes at this point, so this is gonna... Okay, I saw that coming. So we're Let's gonna try that to... again. For the love of... Next time! No. Thank you. Next time we should take first class. Yeah, that's probably a better option, Gordon. That does stink. You look younger than my character. What the hell do you want to show off to girls for? You should think they're grody right now. But they have cooties. All right. We'll be right back, folks.